Only on 7 News tonight, we're hearing from the parents of a teenager who walked in her sleep more than nine miles in the middle of the night. They're telling us she doesn't remember what happened. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live tonight, and Jacqueline, her parents think she walked the entire way? Yeah, they don't think she took the bus. She walked all this way without any shoes on, just her socks. And her parents tell me tonight her feet are pretty sore. They say she doesn't remember any of it. She came to and recognized this movie theater in Westminster, miles from her parents' house in Arvada. She just starts walking, and I don't think she knows where she's going or what she's doing, which makes it even scarier. All parents want to protect their kids, but for Taylor Gamels, the threat can be while she's asleep. She's kind of in a daze when she's sleepwalking, and I just kind of turn her around and I put her back to bed, and usually that's fine. This morning, their daughter's alarm was going off, the back door open, phone, car, shoes left behind. We knew that. She was probably sleepwalking because she's done it before. Last year, they say Taylor woke up at a nearby park, police bringing her home. Sleep doctors say not as uncommon as you might think. There are some people, so about four or five percent of the population, who continue to sleepwalk as adults. This case is unusual because of how far Taylor went, about nine miles. Law enforcement had put out an alert to help find her. The embarrassed teen had made her way to her uncle's house and called her mom. Relieved. Yeah, relieved. I guess it's. The biggest thing for us is knowing that we're not alone, that there's a lot of, like, hearing this, a lot of other stories and everyone talking about how they have kids who sl sleepwalk as well. It's nice to know that we're not alone. And her family says that they are glad that this is creating a conversation about sleepwalking. And they say they're definitely setting their door alarm to keep this from happening again. Reporting live in Westminster, Jacqueline Allen, 7 yeah, News. must have been terrifying. Thank you, Jacqueline. Sleep doctors tell us sleepwalking can be triggered by sleep deprivation, stress, medication, or underlying sleep disorders. And there is medication that can help prevent it because it can be, as in this case, it could, be, could have been very dangerous. Most episodes usually last less than an hour.